The next example is Hal Ataka Hadisul Junivi. So a bridge, ayah number 17. And have you heard the story of the warriors? Junud is plural of Jundun. Jundun is um, a group of people, fighters, Jundun. Jundun and plural will be Junudun. Junudun. So here this is Al Junudi because of Lam of definiteness that the mean has gone here. And hadith doesn't have the mean and doesn't have al either. So um, the story or um, the news, etc., uh, of uh, the warriors. So this is um, Muzaf here and Muzafila. So the story of the warriors. So again, is it ownership? Uh, well, more like an attribution. One noun is being attributed to another noun. Uh, similarly, we have Hal Ataka Hadith al Ghashiya. Um, that's um, most of us are familiar with that surah. Um, uh, Hadith al Ghashiya, uh, the story of Ghashiya. And also, in Surah Taha, we have Hal Ataka Hadithu Musa. Um, that's interesting here. Um, Hal Ataka Hadithu Musa. Um, let's look at it. Hal Ataka Hadithu Musa. So we know these are two nouns put together here, Hadith and Musa. Well, what happens here that um, how do we know Musa is in state of Jah? Because Musa is um, behaves like Mabni Ism, although it's not exactly Mabni, but it behaves like Mabni. Um, so Musa will be Musa, Musa, Musa. Um, so how do we know here that what is the Arab of Musa and this because this noun here doesn't have Al on it and it doesn't have Tanween either and the context will tell us that we are talking about the story of Moses. So Musa here will be in considered to be in state of Jar. That's one way of knowing how we can make out the Arab of uh, Mabni Asma. That the context will tell us, construction will tell us that what their Arab is. And Arab of Musa here is, the Musa is in state of Jar. So we will say Musa is here, Fi Mahalli Jarin. Fi Mahalli Jarin. Because it is in the slot of Muzaf Ilay and Muzaf Ilay we know that Muzaf Ilay is always in state of Jar. So Musa being Muzaf Ilay is Fi Mahalli Jarin. So Hal Ataka Hadisu Musa. Then we have an example of Hatta Matla Il Fajri, Surah Qadr. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadri. That's another one. Indeed, uh, fi laylatil qadri. Fi laylatil qadri. Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadri. And the last one is hatta matla il fajr. So here. Matla till the break of the dawn. Fajr. So Al Fajri is in state of Jar and Matla is also in state of Jar and we know why is that? Because of Hatta. Hatta is Harfajar. So whenever we have Harfajar, we are going to have Isan Majrur. So this is, this is 
uh, one example where Muzaf is in state of Jar and Muzafila is also in state of Jar. Muzafila is going to be in state of Jar. Anyway, we know that. And Muzaf here is in state of Jar because of this Harfi Jar. And similarly here, Laylati, Laylatu, Laylatun, Laylatan, Laylatin. So there's no Tanmeen here. Uh, and that makes it Muzaf. This is Majroor, so that's Muzaf ilay. And this is also in Jar because of this Harf Jar. So Harf Jar has caused this Muzaf to go into state of Jar. And this Isam is in state of Jar because it is Majroor. Uh, it is um, Muzaf ilay. So Fi doesn't have any effect on this. Fi has got its action on Laylatun or Laylatu, Laylata, Laylati and we know that a noun goes into Jar because of two reasons. One, if it is preceded by Harfi Jar and second, when it is Muzaf Ilayah. So here both conditions are met here in these ayah, in this as well as in this we have uh, one noun which is in jar because of harfajar and other noun is in jar because that noun is mudafile so quite a few examples here so we have seen here that um, the relationship between the two nouns is not always that of uh, ownership it is just that one noun is being attributed to another known and that's the kind of link between them.